Okay, I am back into this bay again, and I promise you this will be the uh, last video that I put out about my uh, diesel heater install. Uh, but this isn't really about the diesel heater. Uh, I am back into this bay again uh, because I have replaced, I remember in the last video I talked about this temperature controlled uh, relay up here and it had a sensor on it and I had just had it sitting up across the top and it was wired in and I had a trip switch or trip line that was coming over here and tripping this relay. And uh, I have looked at, uh, and, and the, the problem with this was, is that it is one dimensional. So 24 hours a day, um, seven days a week, whatever the temperature is inside this bay, I had it set at 65 and, and turning on at 65 and turning off at 62. Um, and that's all good. It worked perfectly the way it was programmed to do. But the problem is, you know, like right now, it's 70 degrees out here. So if I just had this thing turned on, then this thing would, at 65, would turn the, um, the fan on and it would stay on uh, all day long. And, and that's not really what I want to do. Uh, and I was always having to get into the bay and this switch over here, I'd have to turn it off. Uh, and then at night when I would, um, you know, come back into the motor home, then I would have to remember to turn this back on for my fan to work. And, you know, I'm, I'm all about automating things and, and making things just work. And so in this video, uh, I started uh, looking at and doing some more research on a Wi-Fi based uh, relay. So this, this particular relay, uh, again, I got it off of Amazon and uh, I'll put a card up to, to show uh, what I paid for it. Wasn't very expensive, but it's uh, Wi-Fi. And uh, I have uh, recently set up a Wi-Fi network within the within the motorhome, and so this taps into the Wi-Fi, and it allows me then to control this uh, off of some other software that I have, and uh, I'll I'll put together a, a couple of video clips that that kind of uh, explain that. So this is the newest version. It's a Wi-Fi based relay. Uh, it is just wired in uh, with the black and red wires that supplies the power. Uh, and then I have a trip switch comes from the uh, fuse block over into the COM port. And then uh, the relay, this is a uh, normally off or um, I always get these mixed up, uh, normally open and normally closed. So this is a normally closed line, or normally open line actually. Uh, and then when the relay trips, it closes and then it provides power to this relay, which trips this relay and then provides power on down to the fan. Okay, so let's let's go take a look at uh, some of the software that I use to control this. On my uh, computer, laptop, iPhone, um, it, it really doesn't matter what device I use. Uh, I have a folder that I've created here called Automation, and in this, I just I have a collection of automated stuff that that uh, I want to access. But I use a program called Smart Life and Smart Life allows me to put all of my thermostat or uh, thermometers and relays. Uh, you see I've got a bunch of Wi-Fi uh, outlets across the bottom here and, and so on. So all of these are all, all within this program. 
But this uh, uh, Moho uh, diesel heater fan relay I, I have right here. And you see it gives me some parameters. Uh, I can click on it to start the fan. Uh, I can click off of it. And uh, it, it has some settings that I can set up. Uh, it just says that the relay status is currently off and it's a rocker type switch. So that's just the animation of the, of the program. Uh, but the other good thing is, is that you kind of have timers that you could set up. And you see right now, just playing around with this, I set up a schedule uh, so that on weekends, that's a Saturday and a Sunday, at 10.15 p.m., uh, this, this relay uh, automatically switches on. Uh, and then at 10.30, I have it switching off. Now, you know, there's no uh, operational need to do that. I was just kind of playing with the software. Uh, I could do a, a countdown here. I could set up, you know, for it to run for an hour or 15 minutes or whatever I want. And there, there are a bunch of other uh, uh, programming, scheduling stuff. Uh, I always found this one kind of interesting. There's, they have one called inching. And uh, it says here, once enabled this feature, each time the device is turned on, it will automatically turn off after a, pre a period time as preset. So if I had this set for five minutes, any time that relay got turned on, it would run for five minutes and then shut off. So that's kind of cool. You know, it's just some different, uh, different parameters. Uh, but then uh, the other things that I can do with this uh, and using the uh, Smart Life app is that I can set up scenes. And you'll see that I have a scene here. Oh, DH Bay right here. So if the DH Bay is uh, temperature is greater than 66, then turn the fan on. And, uh, and at the time that I was creating this, uh, it actually asked me, let me see if any of these conditions are met. Oh, I can't remember where it is. Right here. Oh, the effective period. So I can select in here. It gave me the option to select in here. Uh, the way I got to this is, is just through this little uh three dot menu here so when i click on uh, click on this it asks me what's the effective period that i want this to run and you see i've got a bunch of choices from sunset to sunrise uh, i can uh, customize a predefined time period uh, i could do it 24 hours a day uh, i could only do it during daytime instead of nighttime uh, so, uh, and, and in this case, uh, like I said, I don't want this thing running during the daytime unless I happen to be running the diesel heater. If I'm running the diesel heater uh, and that temperature comes up above 66, then I do want it to run. Uh, and in that case, I could come in here and just change it. But, um, uh, and so I could set, you know, certain days if, if you know, if there are only certain days of the week that I want it to run. So you see you've got complete flexibility to do uh, just about anything you want with this relay. And, and you're kind of getting that uh, that's why this uh, Wi-Fi relay is so valuable uh, in that you have all of these parameters to be able to control this. And I can do that from my laptop. I can do that from my phone. Um, I can override the programming at any point in time if I don't want it to run. Um, you know, like say during the summer months, you know, I may not want this fan running during the summer months uh, when, when the temperature is always above 70 degrees. So I could just come in here and, and, uh, and I could just turn it off and, and then that, that, won't, uh, that won't run. So, so anyway, that's, uh, that's kind of it. Um, let me uh, get out of this. Okay, so that's about it for this video. And uh, I hope this information is, uh, is useful for somebody. 
Uh, and, and again, these relays, uh, the, the big beauty of them is that you can use them for a lot of things. Uh, I've, I've actually ordered already three more of these and, uh, and I'm hoping to use them to uh, be able to automate or be able to reach uh, like the lights within the motorhome to be able to turn them on. Uh, as we, you know, uh, uh, arrive at the motor home, I could pull up my phone and, and turn the lights on. Uh, there, there is just an endless uh, number of things that, that you can tap into these um, uh, with these relays, tap into electrical circuits and, and plug them in and be able to run them. So uh, have a good day. Uh, uh, that's it for this video and we'll see you on the next one.